Today I'm here with the amazing Volkswagen Grand California 680. The 680 is the largest California in the Volkswagen lineup, so without further ado, let me dive straight into it. Starting with the exterior design then, and wow, look at it, it's absolutely massive, there's no denying that, but at the same time, it looks super sleek, especially because you've got the two-tone paintwork, which is a really nice touch, you've got all the black trim here, and the chrome accents too. You've got the sleek light cluster with the LED headlights fitted, helping you throughout a wide range of driving conditions, and check out these wheels, with this being the Grand California, you've got the full alloy wheel multi-spokes fitted, which look absolutely gorgeous, and we're well against a darker tone of paint and on top of that you've got black exterior wing mirrors with the integrated indicators and a nice feature is that these have blind spot monitor fitted into them so in this area it will basically be looking over your shoulder which is a super nice touch especially on those long motorway journeys but do of course look over your shoulder too just as a double safety tip this is a 680 so it is the longest in the lineup there's loads of windows dotted around the exterior letting loads of light into the cabin i'll show you more on that later but just before we do check out this huge awning it's brilliant when you want to set up camp and you want a little bit more space and you don't feel claustrophobic from being inside but don't worry you certainly won't because there's loads of space talking about this check out the side step when you open the door automatic side step really easy to get in so without further ado let's jump in sitting in the front cabin and while straight away it gives you a sense of freedom because it's that spacious but that is to be expected as this is the 680 model so it is longer and obviously the biggest in the volkswagen california lineup but it's also packed full of creature comforts too it's not sparse at all the driver can benefit from a multifunctional leather trim steering wheel and it's also heated throughout those cold winter months there's plenty of controls such as voice activation different cruise control settings and you can also alter the semi digital instrument cluster which is amazing on those long journeys and it's really easy to read too to the left of me is a color touchscreen display which is super responsive and it's packed full of functions such as navigation different car settings smartphone integration and of course things like dab radio further down though you've got the heated seat options which again perfect when it's really cold and you've also got additional climate control settings there too you've got different park assist buttons and you've also got that amazing dsg automatic gearbox which really does work well with the driving dynamics and it really does feel as if you're driving a golf it doesn't feel that big at all of course you've got loads of storage space within the front cabin you've got a huge glove box and you've got all your tools stored within the front passenger footwell above me there's loads of overhead storage too you've got a whopping sun visor so you're definitely not going to get blinded by the sun and a nice touch is these integrated handles too but you've also got a little control panel here and this small black one that you might be able to see is for the auxiliary heater keeping you warm throughout when you're camping and of course it's just a lovely place to be you're not without any control you've even got usb-c ports down below so you can charge your devices and let's not forget these seats either of course you're going to be traveling hours to get to that perfect destination and well these are the seats to do it on full cloth upholstery and they're really comfortable and supportive you've got the adjustable headrest and a fully adjustable armrest too so you can cruise to your heart's content standing inside the 680 and while it's super spacious let's start with the kitchen area and the gully there's loads of room here i'm six foot two for reference and i'm not banging my head on the roof or any overhanging compartments it's a really nice sensation and while you've got a built-in two gas hob burner here along with a little sink and a fold away tap which is super compact and it's really sleek but this being the 680 you've got the extended workspace here and here perfect for preparing your meals and if that's not enough you've also got a pull out drawer looking at nifty things check out the fridge right loads of space in there you've got a pull out drawer and an additional freezer compartment with the control panel there too it's just brilliant and if you're looking for an extra power supply you've got loads here you've got a three pin plug socket two usbs and if you don't want to see it no problem as you come around here though you're thinking i need more space yes you do there's loads you've got cutlery drawers here you've got additional space here loads down here and a nice feature with these is that they've got the safety locks on so when you put the drawer in you can pop the lock and when you're driving on a really bumpy road you can rest assured that the drawers aren't going to fly out and your cutlery plates aren't going to go flying so just behind the front passenger seats, you've got two rear passenger seats, which are really comfortable and supportive, full cloth upholstery, adjustable headrests, 
and integrated ice fix points too, which are perfect for child seat fixings. You're also next to an opening window, which lets loads of light and air into the cabin. And additionally, you've got overhead storage and side compartment storage too for all your personal belongings. And you may see there's a little rail here. While you've got a fold away table, which you can slot into that and you can eat your breakfast or have your evening meals there, which is a really nice touch. Speaking about nice touches, there's a three pin plug socket just below me, which is brilliant if you want to charge your phone or go on your laptop to do some work. And eagle eye viewers will have seen this little door. Now this is actually for Stuart Little. No, I'm only joking. This is a Truma heating control panel that helps control all your water and all the heating temperatures, things like that. So without further ado, let's jump in to the bathroom compartment and then go on to the rear. Into the bathroom department then, and there's actually loads of space here. There's loads of height too, and you've also got that skylight letting loads of light into this little compartment. You've got a built-in toilet, which is nicely positioned, and you've also got a fold-down sink, which is a clever bit of design work by the Volkswagen team. You've got a chrome adjustable tap, which also doubles up as your shower head. And of course, you've got two little plugs here so you can drain away all of the water. This folds up, you've got a little cabinet in here to store all your personal belongings. And if you're thinking, Sam, that's good, but it's not enough space, don't worry, because you can flip this mirror to the side and you've got more shelving to store all of your toiletries. Onto the rear interior then, and the 680 is a two berth vehicle. So this is your bed space. You could comfortably fit two people here lying long ways. And as you can see, it's full of these springs. So you've got a comfortable night's sleep ahead. And storage space, while well, there's plenty of it. There's loads of overhead cupboards here, which are really easy to lock away into place, as you can see. And you've also got additional wardrobes here to the side and one lower down here too. Now, I'll also show you how you fold this bed up and it reveals yet more storage space and space for your gas bottles too. So we did say that we show you how to fold up the rear bed, but just before we do, check out these barn style doors. Each have got windows in with privacy blinds, which is a nice touch. And check out this space saving design where you can store the outside chairs. It's away from everything and at the rear of the vehicle. But anyway, onto the bed. You can fold this up like so, but it will fold down. So got this seat belt like contraption, simply click into place. There's another one of these just at the top end. It'll stop it folding down, which is pretty clever. But it gives you all of this space and there's loads of storage here. So as you can see, they've all got the safety locks on. Store all your bags in there, any boxes that you've got. There's loads and loads and loads of space. You've also got your space for your, your shower head there. And this is for your gas bottles. So simply unclick these, pull out, and there you can store up to two gas bottles, one here, one here, and you've got your dual couplings there. Super clean, really tidy, and you can easily store it away and basically forget about it. Lighting really isn't an issue in the 680, thanks to the use of skylights in the roof. These let loads of light into the cabin. You can also open them for ventilation and you can also fold across a privacy blind. But if that isn't enough light, don't worry. You can also control the lighting via this touchscreen instrument panel. And you can also view things like your water level, battery, and set up all of the individual settings so you can make your Grand California feel like home. So then, I hope this gives you a better overview of the brilliant Volkswagen Grand California 680. It's a phenomenal piece of kit, something I highly recommend experiencing for yourself. So please do come down to one of our Volkswagen fan centers, where one of our sales team will happily show you around. For any further information though, please do head to our website or pick up the phone. Until next time, see you later.